And guess who's here from Vancouver? Susie Wallace. Yeah. Yeah. So of course you're back and you're doing it better than ever because we're talking about first date looks which I think is a great topic especially if you maybe you met that special someone online right digitally there's yeah. so many parameters to this these days it's you know different age categories are getting into that first date mode thanks to digital and social yes. media so we've got a few personas here but I really want to get into who you are on this date because you really this is a major first impression right. but you don't want to start so far above the bar that you're working your way back and you don't want to look so laid back that you're only climbing the mountain ahead and right. so you want to stay in your lane no question about it you want to be uh -huh. Tracy you want to be Susie yeah. but you know I'm saying if you've got usually sort of short clear normal little nails don't go out and get Gwen Stefani you know talents <laughs> with blend hanging off the end yes right yeah. so our first girl maybe she's going to a Leafs game maybe you're going to a concert yes um, and to me this is really put together with sexy bookends because I love the choker thing I don't know about you me too maybe this time next year we're gonna be super over it and stomping it into the consignment garbage bag but for <laughs> now I love it it's feminine this girl is a real guys girl and she's a real girls girl too right? right so she can throw a spiral she can go for coronas but she can also kick it with her friends just fine and she's kicking it really stylishly right here right the bomber jacket is so everywhere right now yes. again this is top shot from Hudson's Bay don't break the bank on your bomber because this time next year we may be moving forward totally this is kind of like the new maybe the kind of army coat or the parka so it's got a lot of great value to it it's padded there are a lot of really tempting bombers out there that are sequin and satin make sure that those will layer nicely with your winter coat because it's chilly outside okay you've um, thrown on a concert tee which I love Metallica do you like that yeah all the way just Don't have some fun well have fun and this really sticks a pin in it it's like I'm not taking myself too seriously yes. but I've put myself together don't wear your fries before guys clothes <laughs> over bros this wine is making me awesome I own all of those and there's a place for those <laughs> and it's not the first day this is not that <laughs> so I love the kind of the rock vintage very kind of Gigi Hadid um, yeah. the high-waisted skinny much maligned I actually like it I feel like I'm wearing Spanx when I wear my high-waisters I want it high they hit you right really at, at, for most women the thinnest part of your torso yes. so elongating the number one searched fashion item on Pinterest this fall was the ankle booty Yes, it's everywhere, and you can everywhere. actually walk in them to the game, so you're okay with an ankle boot. Exactly. A nice chunky heel there, so it's functional. Exactly, and you don't want to go too urban with this look, maybe, if that's quite not your thing, so yes. I wouldn't recommend like a high top or a kick here. Right. I think that an ankle boot says, yeah, you know what, I want a little lift, I, I want to look girly. I tried. Yeah. Please try. Okay, let's, if this is your first date, I feel like this this guy's into you. Right. So this is really nice. You're going out, you're, you're going out to dinner. Yes. And um, he, you got to dress up a little bit. He's wearing a suit in his profile picture okay. like he is not kind of dressed down off-duty guy like yes. this guy you guys are going out for downtown like this is it yeah so for me the LBD the little black dress um, in the 90s and into the 2000s I felt like a lot of fashion editors made it such a classic and such a basic that it got so boring like it became right. the whole point of the little black dress was that it, you could self style and be out the door it got so boring it's like to me it's like I'd rather you know play me bad R&B and tie me to a chair than make me wear a boring <laughs> black dress. I don't know. Like Is I said, right? Do you have a bad night? Right? <laughs> go so I love this because it's got the leather a little bit edge yeah. and then it's got some feminine detailing too thanks to this ruching along this the nice. waistline and the arm so she's cute and of course we know that the dusty pink the rose thing right now is so hot yes and then we throw in a little metallic again on that booty just to have a little bit of lift so she's got her personality in check because there's nothing worse than seeing someone on social media and then meeting them in real life and they are nothing like the person that you thought you were conversing with we have so you want to be yourself but like the best version version of you be authentic in all, all all of your platforms and in real life yes right we talk often about smoke and mirrors and you know there's so much pressure on women to look a certain way and to be a certain way and they're googling what to wear you know you've googled the heck out of each other already yes you know you know everything by now exactly and that is also why I've chosen a lot of high necklines today right. like let's keep a little, let's play a little bit a little of fashion mystery. hide and seek Trace right yeah. so leave a little mystery she's showing a little bit of leg but stay in your lane mm -hmm. be who you are very nice um, and I love this look to me it's just a really put together cocktail portrait not trying too hard but no. she tried a little bit which means she cares exactly and if 
if you want to go more fashion, throw on a finely knit turtleneck underneath. But some may think that's, oh, that's nice. I would do it. Yeah, that's okay, right. Okay, moving. That's over. right. Okay. So where's she going? Okay. Where are they so going? This is sort of my preppy eccentric. So yeah. say you're meeting um, the guy or the girl for brunch. Maybe yeah. it's weekend. Maybe you're corporate during the week, but you don't want to wear, you know, the fancy pantsuit. This is actually a jumpsuit by Horses Italia, a great Canadian oh, line. Nice. So it's a jumpsuit, a flight suit. If you're too hot, pop it off. It does have a zipper. It does go down low. Let's just keep it up in here, you know, the yeah. situation. <laughs> but like we were saying, I call it LNL, right? Yeah. So lashes, nails, and logos. You don't want to show up all drippy and all talony oh. and all big lashes like yes. I've got right now. You know, it was raining yesterday in Toronto. I'm like, oh my God, my lashes. Right. You, know, you don't want to be the high maintenance woman. It's not first date fodder. For some reason, no. I think when guys and girls, they see a partner that is high maintenance, all of a sudden, or they, they feel like you put your look is over the top, they think you're high maintenance. Exactly. So they think, this person is going to cost me money. Yeah, Betty That's McBuy a lot. first thought. Yeah, I don't want to date Betty McBuy a lot. Right. And so I don't you have to work your way up to that. Yeah, and you want to show up and be independent and yeah. really own the moment and be present. Yeah. And you know what? Just be your best you. Take a deep breath, right? I like this girl. Yeah, she's, she's cool. cool. I'd and roll she's with this girl. She's wearing like a brogue or a flat there. Yeah, lots nice of Randall little, brogues, little tassel nice. on the detail. Everything you've seen today is from Hudson's Bay. Very nice, Sue. Yay. Okay, you ready for your first date? Let's go to break. <laughs>